All right, guys, it is the time that we have been waiting for for a very long time. In fact, we've been waiting since October 2018 when Red Dead Redemption 2 launched on console and is now going to launch on PC on November 5th. 2019. Now, some of y'all may be like me and only have a PC and have never owned a console except way back in the day, my Super NES. I've been wanting to play Red Dead Redemption, the first one. I even tried modding it to PC. No luck. Finally, I get my chance. It's coming to PC and it's coming the day after my birthday. So before I say anything else, if you are going to pick up this game on the Epic Game Store, do please use my creator tag all caps, Mr. hyphen G hyphen plays, because I get a nice cut of that money and it comes out the day after my birthday. That'd be a pretty awesome birthday present for me, but enough rambling by me. Let's get into what's going to be new on PC for Red Dead Redemption. First of all, it's going to have a lot of graphic improvements. It's going to have longer draw distance. It's going to have improved snow trails, improved reflections, tessellated trees, HDR support, unlocked 4K resolution, ultra wide aspect ratio, unlocked frame rate, and all of that coming in at not too terrible of minimum requirements. Uh, you're going to come in with a CPU i5. You can get away with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And you can get away with the GTX 770 only running 2 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory or the AMD Radeon with 3 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. So not bad. The real kicker is the hard drive space coming in at 150 gigabytes. So do clear your drives out, guys. Okay, next up, the cool thing that I'm looking forward to is modding. Now, Rockstar has never really officially supported modding with Grand Theft Auto or Grand Theft Auto Online, but that never stopped people from doing it anyway. And the guys at 5M that made mod tools for GTA, they have said uh, in tweets on Twitter that they're going to go ahead and try and release what they're calling Red M, which is going to be their modding tool for Red Dead Redemption. Now, what are the mods that they did in GTA basically do? Besides making crazy multiplayer madness, uh, they basically created interesting role-playing servers for GTA Online. So we can probably expect to see something similar uh, with Red Dead Redemption 2. Also, there's going to be some new content. Uh, depending on what version that you're going to buy. Because this game is pretty spendy coming in at 60 bucks on the Epic Game Store, or 59 bucks or euros, depending on where you're buying it. And there are different versions that you can pick up. I'm not a crazy person. I'm going to pick up the cheapest one I can. And I'm doing it on Epic because the Rockstar Game Launcher was being tricky for me and making it harder for me to purchase it where I live overseas. So I just went with Epic. Um, all right, what are you going to get that's new uh, in the PC version? Well, they're going to release some new weapons. Uh, they're going to have the M1899 pistol, which is completely new to Red Dead Redemption 2. And then they're going to have the Evans repeater, high roller revolver, Lamat revolver, which was originally only available in Red Dead Online. So that's going to be some cool new pistols and weapons to see in the game. Oh, I'm hoping it's that like Civil War era uh, what was that? It was a revolver with a shotgun shell in the middle of the cylinder. Oh, that was in one of my favorite books, Cold Mountain. Oh, the guy had one of those. Uh, yeah, the Lamat revolver, I think, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's also going to be a whole pile of new horses. Uh, you know what? Different horses, different colors. I'm not going to get into horses too much. My mom loves horses. I'm not spending all day on horses. There's going to be two new gang hideouts for the Del Lobos gang. Uh, Gaptooth Breach, Solomon's Folly. There's going to be some new bounty hunter missions that you can do. There's going to be a couple of new treasure maps uh, that you can unlock. And just a pile of small things like that that you guys can expect to get in the PC version of the game. I'm just happy to finally get to play the game after waiting for years since the release of the original one uh, on console. All right, guys. I want to actually get ready to go play this game, but do Mr. GAU's huge favor do throw in that creator tag if you pick up the game on Epic Game Store. It costs you nothing and it earns me some extra coin. And it looks to be an absolutely great game. I will get a review out soon. Like and subscribe to get that review as soon as it's ready. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G. Out.